YouTube, what up though? Jermaine the Credit Fiend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Total of payments on the retail installment sales contract. All right, Woo, people, I don't have that much time to do one-on-one cons -on -one consultation with people all over the country about this one little, that one box that most people are confused about um, or saying that they're, they feel like, well, if people just feel like they've been screwed over and they just want, you know, just, uh, um, you know, confirmation or, uh, um, yeah, they just want to know like, Hey man, am I being screwed over or not? Well, guess what? I, I, again, I can't do consultation that many consultations on even all the emails I receive. I, I appreciate them, but why not just drop a video to help you guys out? Right. Why not just do that? <laughs> so let's talk about it. This box right here is what most people, um, let me, let me hide this right here. What most people are, um, confused on or, or getting caught up on is a total of payments. Okay. Clearly, you didn't finance thirty. This total of payments right here. So we're like, why am I? Why do I have to pay that when it should only be like that's a long ways from twenty one thousand nine hundred fifty three. How did it come up with thirty four? But more importantly, the thirty five thousand because they they included my down payment in here, right? So I want to try to clear this confusion up. Um, I'm not going to go over as far as the itemization of amount financed. I have plenty of videos on that. This is for the individuals that are more concerned about the boxes here, the five boxes, right? And they feel like, wait, man, I've been screwed over. I feel like, I feel like I've been screwed over, okay? So here we go. This is the, this is the tr truth and lending disclosure. So you can, it's truth and lending. So 15 U.S., if there's different parts of Regulation Z, different um, United States codes, right? And one in particular is 15 U.S.C. 1638, right? Um, transactions other than under an open-end credit plan. So that means all closing credit or, or installment credit. That's what it applies to. So here we go. A5, I'm going to show you guys in black and white, all right? The the sum of the amount finance box you see here and the finance charge, the sum mean together, add these two together to come up with the total payments. And that's only if, then you got to read this box. It said the amount you will have paid after you have made all payments as scheduled, okay? That's after you've made all payments because they have to factor in the int amount of interest you're losing on each payment, right? You, you know, um, even though it says the annual percent rate, right? You're making monthly payments, so you got to start, you got to bring it down even um, smaller than annual is monthly. So I'm going to show you guys give you guys an example of that so stay tuned okay don't click off yet all right just want to clear up the confusion or whatever so so far the sum of so if you add these two right here together you should come up with this now here's the problem i'm gonna throw this in here this part right here i'm gonna show you guys how many people are all this this amount right here on the finance charge is off by like hundreds of dollars not just a few cents not not a not a dollar or two now we're talking about hundreds of dollars off and why is it like that and what you could possibly do not offering any kind of legal legal advice but what you can just give you some resources to use to um to educate yourself shall we say there you go because this is for education purpose only all right so so far we're talking about on these this this box right here total payments and we have determined that and we're going i'm going to show you in black and white but add these two right here together and, and the total payment should be thirty four thousand four hundred seventy eight dollars 64 cent all right so we're going to confirm that right now i'm going to go we're going to confirm that by going here to the actual regulation z all right that, that's that's the appropriate thing to do right we're going to go to regulation z we're going to go to right whoa let me go back i'm clicking the wrong thing we're going to go here y'all see that 15 usc 1638 transaction other than under an opening credit plan just as i said we're going to go to paragraph a Required disclosures by creditor, okay, required, and then five, the sum of the amount financed and the finance charge, which shall be termed the total payments. We're tracking on that, just like I said, right? So we add those two together. We came up with 34000 what I say, 478 So we're going to, the way to check it, though, is go to a loan calculator, right? Just put in the Google loan calculator, all right? And you're going to run the same numbers. The amount finance is going to be, that's what it's, is the loan amount, okay? Um, the terms, well, we saw 62, I mean, 72 months, six years, 16.22%, $478.86. And the total interest, 12525 21 cents, right? 
I'm going to use another loan calculator, which is calculator.net. The reason why I'm using loan calculators and the reason why a lot of people's finance charges are off by hundreds of dollars is because it could be, all right? But let me before I go there, let me show you this right here. So the same thing. Remember, we said 34478 was the total of payments. Well, this is what they got right here, too. You'll see that. Total of payments. This box right here. Right? On calculator.net, they'll show you total of payments. Bankrate.com. It just says total principal paid and total interest paid, but you got to add these two right here together um, to come up with the uh, with the total of payments. But on calculator.net, they give it to you. So you can easily compare this information to what's on a retail installment sales contract. All right, $34,478.21. We come up on the loan calculator and $34,478.21. Sixty-four cent, all right. So that's what about fifty cent off or whatever. Not bad. So that's letting me know that this this uh lender or the dealer, because this in this case is dealer, is using a loan calculator that's in compliance with Regulation Z. Now we're gonna talk about why some people finance charges are off by hundreds of dollars. Okay, um, could be. Let me say that again. No, no legal advice because they're not. This right here comes into place. Twelve CFR. 1026.22 people, all right, is the determination of the annual percentage rate. And in here, it, it gives, it goes over how they're supposed to use, you know, calculate, you know, equations and stuff like that, right? It's not just something as simple as pull out a calculator <laughs> on your phone and start adding numbers up. And that's what happens or whatever. So I know many people are like, well, how do I, if, you know, are they going to accept me? You know, if I tell, I can't tell the, the my lien holder that I use bankrate.com. I'm like, well, yeah, you got to find the, the the appropriate statute, right? You can then challenge them. Say, I would like to know which which um um calculations that or uh, you know how did you calculate the finance charge? Because I'm using loan calculators that is in obviously in compliance with Regulation Z because they're the same amount. And they're coming up with the same dollar, four seventy eight eighty six, um, four seventy eight eighty six, right? And then we saw on the other one is four seventy eight eighty seven. So that's that's pretty close. But for some of you all, the 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 the, uh, the finance charge is off by hundreds of dollars, and the payments are off by like it will only be like three, five, maybe no more than about ten bucks. But that's because it's over the life of the loan a month. You got to figure it's five bucks a month, five times. Um, 12 is 60 then times that by the six you know six years um that you're financing a vehicle that's almost like sneaking out of another payment an extra payment out of you see when you use those looking at it like that it's like wait a minute they're trying to squeeze another whole payment out of me right that's because you need to check them and see if they are in compliance with this and this is part of regulation z again you see that right there regulation z determination of annual percent rate okay I'm just pointing you guys in the right direction. I'm not going to go over into that. You got to read it yourself or whatever, right? And um, and just educate yourself, people. But so far, let's get back to the just right here. The sum of the amount finance and the finance charge, we got that, right? So now we know when you add those two together, that's how they came up with your the uh total of payments, okay? And then the next box would be uh um the total sale price. Okay, so by law, they have to tell you, like, this is the total price that you're going to pay, including your down payment, right? So if you go the whole term, you have paid 34000 like we saw here, $34,478.21 or whatever, if you go the entire term. But don't they're saying what, what the truth of lending is saying, hey, don't forget to factor in that amount that you put down, too. Now, that is the total. We got to include that. Now, that would be the total that you paid for the vehicle. So you got to factor that in too. So they did not add that into your finance because you it says right here in 15 USC 1638, right? Um amount finance right here. 2A, right? And then it said take the principal amount of the loan or cash price less the down payment and trade in. Okay. So they can't factor the trade in into the amount finance. It was not factored in in the amount finance. And that's because the amount financed and the finance charge is what determine the payments, okay? So not your down payment, right? Their down payment is not factored in as like, it's not part of the amount financed and it's definitely not part of the finance charge, all right? 
So just want to clear up that confusion as, as many of you all feel like you're being screwed over because, you know, well, or you're running, you're doing this right here. Let me, let me, let me go back here. You're doing like, okay, it's 16. I ran the numbers. I financed 29,000, you know, uh, $21,953. And I, and I multiply that by the interest and I'm, and it didn't come up with 12,000. I'm like, yeah, that's because it's, you, you did simple interest for one, that's just one time interest. You're paying interest on a yearly basis, right? But broken down into monthly, but don't forget you financed it. How long you financed it for? 60 months, 72 months. So you got to factor that in time price differ differential. You got to factor that in too. So yeah, you ran the numbers, the interest based on this amount right here. That's just a starting amount. This amount changes every month though, when you make payments. So, you know, you pay, you make uh, payments every month. So there's interest due every month. And that's how they calculate the over the time over the over the terms of the loan, the total would of interest is twelve thousand five hundred twenty five, which is pretty high, right? Pretty high, but that's okay. People gotta do what they gotta do until they can get their credit straight, and then they can refinance. Um. Oh yeah. So let me now. You can check this number right here. Don't. I'm gonna show you something else before I end this video. Okay. Is so you understand like what that interest really means, what that APR really means is going to determine out of your payment, this payment of 478, how much are you losing to interest? In the first month, you see that, 296. Um, in the second month, it's going to go down every month, 294. The third month, 291, 289. It's still, that's still a lot. But you can also, you know, you don't need a, the loan calculator to do that as long as you know the, the principal amount, 21,000. Well, let me do that back. The APR. Is 16.22. So I would change that to a, a decimal, 0. 0.1622. And then you divide that by 12 because it's 12 months. Remember, we're trying to get the monthly rate, right? And now you multiply that by whatever that balance is. And if I want to know how much interest I'm losing on the first payment without even getting that amortization schedule, I'm going to, I can just do the run the numbers myself. 21,953, I think I said, 953. I can run the numbers myself and I come up with $296.73. And they also came up with, the calculator came up with $296.73. So, you know, simple, you know, simple interest, easy to determine, just running the numbers. But so now you can, knowing that with total payments, I mean, hopefully, you know, for the, those of you all who felt like, well, you know, you've been screwed over because of total payments, hopefully this right here will clear, you know, you know, probably clear up any kind of confusion or whatever. And, you know, before you approach a lien holder or whatever, a creditor using laws and threatening to sue and all that stuff, people, listen, that's an emotional decision, right? You need to make a well-informed decision. And the only way to do that is to be well-informed. You need to don't, you know, don't just take nobody's word and say, well, you need to, you know, no, you got to understand it yourself, right? Understand it yourself, understand your situation because it, maybe your situation is worse than what, yourself or other people may think or maybe your situation is a whole lot less than what you think it is too so it can go both ways but the only way to do that is to be well informed right to to be in the know and to fully understand a comprehend a comprehension of the actual the situation that you're in that's it if you understand once you understand what's understood don't have to be explained all right this is Jermaine Credit Fiend I thank you guys for taking the time to check out this video I appreciate the views or whatever. Appreciate any kind of support, people. Thumbs up would be just just fine or whatever. You know, I share information on my channel. That's what I do. I don't share or um, I don't spread hatred. I don't do that. I don't hate on people. Nothing like that. I just know that you know it, it's a uh, we are we are at war, financial war, and it's time for us to start fighting back. Okay, this is not about getting out of pain what you owe. Okay, it's not about that, but it's about being in the know, though. You need to be. We need to be in the know. All right, make well-informed decisions. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.